네, 오늘 Street Smart 코너에서는 두개 표현을 소개할 건데요. 해변과 관련이 되어 있습니다. Right. 첫 번째. Okay, so the first one is beach bum. Beach bum. <웃음> beach bum. 사실 beach bum이라고 하면 좋은 표현은 아니에요. Right, it's not really 네. a good one. It means that you don't really do anything else. You 음. just go to the beach 음흠. all the time, all summer, just 네. being lazy. 네, 그래서 아무것도 안 하고 그냥 해변에만 있는 사람을 beach bum이라고 부른다고 하는데 So, what if you go to the beach every day and you work out every day, you surf every day, are you still a beach You're bum? You're still a beach bum. 아, it's just somebody who goes to the beach very often. Mm-hmm. Or, and they have a look too. Maybe they're tan, mm-hmm. they're always wearing like, you know, rash guards, the mm-hmm. clothes that surfers wear, you mm-hmm. call them beach bums too. How about you go to the beach every single day? I'm trying to look for exceptions. Right. 만약에 이제 정말로 beach bum이라고 안 불리고 싶어요. 해변에 mm-hmm. 매일매일 가는데, 그러면 뭐 해야 돼요? What do I have to do to go to the beach every day? You have to be the lifeguard who works there. Okay. If you are the lifeguard who works there, you are not a beach bum 네. because you're the lifeguard. 그렇군요. Yeah. 그래서 그 It's your job. You have to go there. So if you work on the beach, like 네. maybe you have to go there and sell some ice cream or something, then you're not a beach bum. 아하. Only if you go there for recreational purposes. 구조대이거나 아니면 정말로 아이스크림을 판매한다든지 거기서 일을 하고 있는 게 아니고 정말 right. 매일 매일 해변에 간다 그러면 다 beach bum이라고. There are a lot of those. 네 부르는군요. Mm-hmm. 좋아요. 그래서 이제 아무것도 안 하고 해변에만 있는 사람 그냥. 어떻게 보면은 부럽기도 하네요. <웃음> yeah. Well, I mean, I was for uh, I was a beach bum for summer before. 네. 그렇지만 이제 yeah. 열심히 일하는 사람 봤을 때 봤을 때는 너무 해변에만 있으니까 mm-hmm. 이런 말이 생긴 것 같고 mm-hmm. 그 다음 표현은 the next one is beach bod. Mm-hmm. Beach bod. 발음이 조금 비슷한데 bum bod. Beach bum. 네. Beach bod. 여기서는 이제 해변에서 과시할 만한 멋진 몸을 beach bod라고 합니다. Yeah. So anyone who you know works out and has a nice body, mm-hmm. even if they're not at the beach or going to the beach, and it could be winter time, mm-hmm. if they have a nice body, you can still say they have a beach bod. 그렇죠. A body 뭐. that's ready to be exposed 음. in your bathing suit. 그렇죠. 수영복이 잘 어울릴 것 같은 몸매, right, yeah. 아니면 비키니 몸매 뭐 이런 것을 mm-hmm. 이렇게 말할 수 있겠고, 물론 BOD라고 하는 body라는 표현은 어디에서 온 거죠? It came body. from body. Body. Body가 너무 길어서. Yeah. Body is too long. Beach body. Well, you can still say beach body, but we usually just say beach bod. 좋아요. Beach bod. 자 그러면 beach bum 하고 beach bod 합쳐서 mm-hmm. 예문도 만들 수 있겠죠? Okay, so the beach bum has a great beach bod. Mm-hmm. The beach bum has a great beach bod. <웃음> the beach bum has a great beach bod. <웃음> 그 해변에서 살다시피 하는 저 사람은 몸매가 정말 좋아요라는 말인데요. So when were you a beach bum? I was a beach bum during the summer when I was 14 or 15 years old. 14 or 15 years old. Yeah, so. I stayed at my uh, godparents' house, mm-hmm. and they live on an island, and the beach is just right down the street. Uh-huh. So I walked there every day with my brother, uh-huh. and we just laid around 그렇군요. all day and did nothing. And oh, ate. 저도 그, 그렇게 생각하니까 뭐 그, 그 정도도 beach bum이라고 부를 수 있다면 저도 뭐 친척 집에 놀러 갔을 때 친척 집이 mm-hmm. 바닷가 근처였거든요. Mm. 여름 방학 때한 일주일 정도 있으면서 매일 매일 바닷가에 갔던 거예요. Yeah, every day. 그럴 때 you can call yourselves beach bums. Beach bums. 네. I didn't necessarily have a beach bod back then. Oh. 그렇지만 또 운동 열심히 해서. That's, I didn't either. <웃음> yeah, let's all have beach bods. I didn't have a beach bod then either. But I do now, and so do you. Okay, hey. that's good. <웃음> 좋아요. 자 그러면 beach bum, beach bod, 둘다 소개를 해봤고요. 재밌는 uh-huh. 표현들이니까 uh-huh. 어, 한번 활용을 해보시고 uh-huh. 오늘의 핵심 표현 한번 정리하고 마무리하겠습니다. Okay, so today's kick expression once again was "Come on in, the water is great." Uh-huh. Come on in, the water is great. 들어오세요. 물이 수영하기 딱 좋아요라고 하는 문장 가지고 공부해봤습니다. Uh-huh. This is going to wrap up this episode of EBSC 생활 영어, right? Yes, it does. So thank you so much for sitting here with us today. We're going to teach you an even more useful expression next time. 저희는 다음 시간에 뵙겠습니다. 안녕히 계세요. Bye. Bye. Have a good day.